Hey, barbecue family, Kenyatta here. Thanks again for tuning in to my Backyard Smoke Master barbecue channel. So today I'm gonna do a whole chicken and also a bone-in pork butt. I'm gonna cook them together on the LSG. So while the LSG is coming up to temperature and today I'm using some Fogo lump charcoal as my base to get the fire started. And then I'm also got some apple splits that I'm gonna be cooking with today, some apple wood. So while it comes up to temperature, I'm gonna start off with the whole chicken. I'm not splotch cocking it. Um, not taking the backbone out or anything. I'm just gonna leave this chicken whole. And I did brine it overnight. So the brine recipe for whole chicken is really simple. You just add some kosher salt and brown sugar to a gallon of water. And then what I also like to do is add some hot sauce. In this case, I used um, Frank's what I find is that that actually will give your chicken, uh, the, the chicken under the skin, it adds some flavor to that chicken without having to inject, um, you know, or, or try to add the rub underneath the skin. So that's kind of like a inside tip. So let's start off, just gonna coat it with some olive oil and today, today I'm gonna use Swine Life's Mississippi Grind for this whole chicken. And I find that this has a combination of sweet and it has a little bit of heat as well. Now my family my wife in particular is a little bit sensitive to spice, so I'm taking a little bit of a chance with this recipe, hoping that she doesn't find it to be too spicy. And I've never used this on a whole chicken before. All right, next up, we're gonna get the pork butt ready. I know a lot of, well, a lot of guys use uh, like mustard uh, or Worcestershire as a binder. I like to use mayo. Um, specifically, I like to use uh, Duke's, Duke's mayo, um, which I think I don't know, I think it's the best mayo that's out there, personally. And I like to use mayo because of the notion, you know, mayo is basically fat. Fat equals flavor. So this is also a first for me using John Henry's pecan rub. Uh, I've used it before on chicken with good results. And I think the sweet profile is gonna work out nicely. All right, guys, LSG has come up to temperature. So normally I smoke with uh, water in the chamber, but since I'm doing a whole chicken today, I'm not gonna do any water. Instead, I took the bottom rack out, and as you can see at the bottom, I just put a couple of uh, aluminum pans in to catch the drippings, help make the cleanup a little bit easier. Another first for me, I've never done a whole chicken on my LSG, so I'm pretty excited to see how this works out. The combination of chicken and the pork butt together, taking advantage of the temperature fluctuations inside of the 20 inch LSG offset smokers. All right guys, so now I'm gonna make my bourbon brown sugar glaze for the pork butt. So I got all of the 
ingredients into my sauce pot. So if you're anything like me, you've probably been cooking more at home during these extraordinary times than you ever have. And one of the things that I'm glad that I purchased earlier this year is the Heston Q. And that's, this is the Heston Q right here. It's basically a smart induction cooker, kind of like a, a stove top, a miniature stove top. But what makes it pretty cool is it has an app and you can basically, the app contains a, a plethora of different recipes. The, the guys over the Heston Q makers um, have done a great job putting together this app with a ton of recipes that work with the Heston Q. And then you can also use it kind of like in a manual mode where you know you're not having the app dictate the steps but you're just using it as a as a as a cooker a little burner which is what I'm going to do today for this this glaze sometimes you know when you're out there maybe you're cooking your protein on your grill or smoker and if you're like me sometimes the vegetables are kind of an afterthought and usually a lot of times the veg veggies will take even longer to cook than the protein and I find myself kind of scrambling to put together like a well-balanced meal the Heston Q can help with that it makes it pretty easy so while you've got stuff going on outside you can use your Heston Q inside. So guys, if you are interested in the Heston Q or if you've heard about it and you've been on the fence about picking one up, um, take advantage. I do have a discount code. The discount code is Backyard Smoke. It will save you 20% on the Heston Q. So there's a look at the at the mop and I mean it it smells wonderful matter of fact I think I'm gonna fix myself a shot of that bourbon while this stuff is out here but here's a look at the pork butt and where we are we're about an hour and 20 minutes into the cook and it looks very nice so we're just gonna get that mop on all right barbecue family we're about two and a half hours into the cook so I want to do a couple of things I want to again mop the pork butt which wow it looks really good I, I really like the color that the combination of the pecan rub and this bourbon mop is giving this pork butt and it looks really good. And the other thing I wanted to do is with regard to the chicken, now the fireboard is confirming that the left side is cooking about 25 degrees hotter than the right side. But what I found interesting is that my breast is actually cooking faster than the thigh. So I wanted to rotate this a little bit. And wow, look at all that juice pouring out of that chicken. I want to try to even out that cooking a little bit and I just can't get over all that juice that's in this chicken. That's just going to pour right out when I take it off of the smoker. My fireboard and my instant read thermometer is telling me and my eyes are telling me that this chicken is done. So we're going to go ahead and get this off of the smoker. There 
is a lot of juice in this chicken. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, barbecue family. So I've let the chicken rest. You know, one thing I did mention was that it took about four and a half hours, but just as a reminder, I mean, we're really not cooking to time. We are cooking to temperature. So the temperature is much more important. And there's a view, and, and just as I thought, I mean, this chicken is really moist. Really, you can just see all these juices flowing, so. My daughter, Erin, is here. She's gonna give this a try. She's filming. Most likely she won't do it on camera. And then I usually like the dark meat. So I'm trying to get this dr drumstick here. So this is the piece that I want. You see all that, that juiciness. I really like the taste of the Mississippi grind rub on the chicken. It, it turned out about as well as I, as I hoped it would. Like I said, really, really juicy. I mean, the juice is still dripping off of this piece of chicken. I'm gonna stop chewing and switch places with Erin, or at least let her try the chicken. We'll see if she wants to be on film. No. Teenagers. All right, Erin is trying the chicken. Let's see if she has a reaction. Actually, she's going in for her second piece without saying anything, so I think that's a good sign. She's chewing, she's chewing. She's smiling, she's trying to keep from laughing. All right, what do you think? Oh, she's still chewing. No, no, no. Oh my God. Anyways. I like the chicken. I think I like it better with the skin than with the skin. The skin obviously has all the flavors. Right. Right. Yeah, that, that's basically where the rub is concentrated. Um, again, that's why I do try to brine with the, um, with the Tabasco or hot sauce to try to give it a little bit of flavor underneath the skin. But, I mean, that's where the, the true flavor is, 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 is in the skin. All right, Aaron and I are gonna enjoy some more of this chicken. And like I said, we'll check back, let you guys see what's happening with the pork butt. All right, guys, so we've been at it now for eight hours. I just checked the temperature. Internal reached 166 degrees. Again, we're not cooking to time. We're cooking to temperature. So again, once it got to, to 165, and like I said, it's, it's up to 166. So we're gonna go ahead. Oh, it smells wonderful. All right, so I'm gonna take the rest of this bourbon brown sugar concoction here, and I'm gonna use it as a braise. And just pour it all over. Mm. I really think this chicken has the most flavor out of pretty much all your chickens. It's very, very juicy. I'm, I, I like this a lot. This is very good. The flavor is on point. It's just really, really good. So, yeah, you could make me a couple more of these. And I would enjoy it a lot. So, thank you. 
really right, good. Well, basically, your opinion uh, mirrored mine. Mm -hmm. um, so again, for this this cook, again, this was the first so time good. that I smoked a whole chicken on the Lone Star Grill. And it was also the first time that I used the Mississippi grind. Yeah, that whatever that is, they should like. Uh, it's it's really good. So I don't know what it is. Or is this one? This is really really good. So. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. That's the Mississippi grind. So yeah, this this recipe is definitely a keeper. Yeah. Keep it. Um, and then I also brine the chicken overnight. Yeah, that helped a lot because it's very moist. I'm like, <laughs> there's not much chicken left. <laughs> so hopefully you don't want any more because I'm taking all the pieces away from little Miss Chicken here. So sorry, but it's going to be so good. Well, that's fine. We have a couple of more whole chickens in the freezer. Your parents are going to love this chicken. It's really good. All right, guys. Well, Janine always says it better than I ever could because she's very emphatic with her uh, her opinion. So yeah. trust me. Oh, I like this. Uh, if you want to smoke a whole chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you gonna like get me if I like? Well, I'll just use the knife. Sorry. Go ahead. Just cut the skin. <laughs> do what you you know. Do what do what comes natural to you. Oh my god. But anyway, um, the skin is so good, and I never eat the skin. It's really flavorful. It's got a little bit of a bite. It's kind of sweet. I really, I think you should get more of this. Yeah, actually, I, I plan to because I haven't haven't used Mississippi grind in, in quite a while, and I actually couldn't really remember. Yeah. What it tasted like. This is true. I was just reading it, and I don't believe in a lot of marketing, but it is sweet and it's a little salty, and it's got a little bite, and it it just is really good. So yeah, you should just order some more of this right away. All right guys, so 10 and a half hours later and the pork butt is finally done. Again, we're not cooking to time, we're cooking to temperature. So now we're gonna go ahead and see what we got. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I also smoked this fat side up. Um, usually in an offset smoker, you want uh, your fat to be closest to the heat source, heat rises, so we did it fat side up. And there's the bone coming out nice and clean. Smells great. Let's see what we got. Can easily pull this apart. No fork or special tools needed can just do this with my hands so i'm gonna take this apart and give it a try it's still pretty hot i'm wearing uh, insulated gloves underneath to uh, protect my hands so let me try to find a piece here that might have some some bark on it all right so it's very tender as expected. I do think that the uh, pecan rub is pretty subtle, so I don't taste it as much as some of the other rubs that I've used. And I don't know, that might also be the result of braising. So actually, I think what I'm gonna do as I shred this pork is I'm also going to um, put some more of the pecan rub in, you know, just to kind of give it some more flavor. I think that will help. So honestly, I'm not sure if I would braise it again. 
uh, because I do think that that may have taken away from the taste of the rub. So I'm constantly, you know, trying different things, looking for, you know, the process that I think will work best. Um, so I do think this could be tweaked some again, uh, but I think just adding some more pecan rub as I continue to, to shred this apart will help with the overall flavor. But again, going back to the, uh, the chicken, I mean, that was an absolute home run with the Mississippi grind. Um, we'll be doing more whole smoked chickens on the LSG with that rub in the future. I think that was an absolute home run. So as always guys, I appreciate you tuning in to the to my backyard Smoke Master Barbecue channel. Um, if you like what you see here, I really would appreciate you going ahead and hitting the subscribe button. Leave comments. Let me know what you'd like to see me cook. And I will talk to you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.